Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. Today we're going to be overclocking my computer with the Corsair H55. If you want to see the unboxing of this uh, AIO, click the link in the video description to watch the last Open That Box episode. Now, let's begin the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first we need to get our baseline temps. We're going to be using Prime95 over here and Hardware Monitor over here to monitor our temps. So first, let's minimize the motherboard. Minimize everything else except for the CPU so we can focus on this. So let's go into Prime95. We'll go into Options and Torture Test. I want to set it to blend everything, put on 6 to use all my 6 threads, and we start the benchmark. I mean the torture test. Okay, so I completed the the temp test with Prime95, and the minimums were 42, maximum was 67, and we averaged at about 64C. That's fairly good for a stock cooler, considering Intel CPUs do get hotter on the stock cooler. But now let's go ahead and um, change, the, change the stock cooler to the AIO, and then you guys can see the results of that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me installing that, overclocking the CPU, testing it, and then seeing the results. Okay, so first, we've, first of all, we got to go ahead and shut down my computer. So I got some napkins and the alcohol there to go ahead and clean off the CPU. I got the water cooler right there. The IC diamond is right over there. And then I got my laptop here so I can record with the Blue Yeti so you guys don't have to worry about this stupid camera audio. I got the fan, the splitter, and all the equipment. We're going to go ahead and get this uh, time lapse setup of me changing out the cooler. And then we're going to overclock.
Hello everyone. Anyways, now uh, I put the water cooler on and we're ready to overclock. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on now. Let's go ahead and get that delete key on there. Doesn't seem to be ready yet. Okay, entering setup, there we go. I just realized that's cut off on your guys' screen, which means I have to go back a little bit. There we go. Here we go. And here we are, so. Here's the mouse, and let's see now. I think the easiest way is to probably just go with the OC Genie, which is the automatic overclock. That worked pretty good last time I tried it, without the, st without the water cooler though, so... Let me go ahead and try it again and see what I get. Okay, I clicked on it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, it's just turning on like that, and let's go into settings. Save and exit. Save changes and reboot, yes. Okay, the system just turned off completely and turned back on. And let's hope now we're gonna be overclocked. Seems to be booting a little slowly ever since I put this water cooler on for some reason. Okay, seeing some signs of movement in the corner. Here we go. OC Genie enabled. Booting into Windows, it should be around four gigahertz, at least. It should be at least four gigahertz. Okay, it's uh, uh, my other screen is the primary one. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, here we are on the desktop now. Let's go ahead and open up Task Manager, and that should give us our clock speed, performance, and it's overclocked us to 4.10 gigahertz. It's not that's actually pretty bad. I mean, when I did the overclock thing with my stock cooler, it also gave me 4.10 gigahertz. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. I thought it's supposed to go depending on how cool the CPU is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and manually do it. I mean, this thing doesn't seem to be working correctly. Just in case if it's handling temps or something, I'm just gonna go ahead and check Prime95, and of course, Hardware Monitor. Okay, let's go ahead and torture test this thing. I'm a, it's a little hard for me to see because the camera's in my way. Anyway, so now here, okay. It is a little bit hotter, you can see, in the first run. So it, maybe it is right that uh, it shouldn't go over 4.10 gigahertz. Anyways, even if it is 4.10 gigahertz max, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for another half an hour and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm actually going to leave it at 4.10 gigahertz. It seems like that's a pretty good value because now it's already gone up to 50C and if it goes anything over 65, which is what it was with the stock cooler non-overclocked, then that's not gonna be good. So I'm just gonna leave it at 4.10. That's what the overclocking was, so yeah. That's how much I could push this thing. It's not gonna go higher than that. Temps are here now. We have a minimum of 13C, a maximum of 33C, and an average of 31. It is a little noisy, but we gotta remember that uh, the, the, that's a 33, t 33 degree difference between the water cooler and the stock cooler, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this overclocking video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, stay tuned for a full benchmarks and review of this system with this new cooler. Bye.